Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Cheetahs 39, Bulls 10. What a performance from the men from Free State. They surge into the 2023 Curry Cup Final. An absolute thrashing of the Bulls who will need to go into the offseason and do a lot of reflecting on, on what went wrong and, and how they can sort this all out because... You know, a, a, a union as proud and as and as good with the resources that the Bulls have to have gone out in the in the URC the way they did to have not contended really for the Curry. I mean, they were they were pretty much out the Curry Cup, had to claw their way back into getting into playoffs, and then what is basically a full strength team minus you know Ken and Moody and Curry answer got absolutely taken apart by the Cheetahs. Uh, uh, a bit of a masterclass from Ruan Pinot, who kicked extremely well for the cheaters and uh, a huge result for the home side. Before we break the game down, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. It all started very well for the cheaters as uh, Renault Forte went over in the second minute, a charge down kick on uh, Jan Kursen from him. And uh, uh, that kind of set the, the tone, didn't it? Ruan Pino and the conversion. Jan Kursen missed an early penalty and Conrad from Furing got Jan Carter, which provided an opportunity for the Bulls to get back into the game. Jan Kursen uh, converting that penalty, but... Um, that was the only points that was actually scored during that yellow card. Uh, Ruan Pino adding a, a, a couple of extra penalties in the 21st and 31st minute before Tapio Mafura round up a very nice move of the back of a scrum uh, in the 34th minute. Ruan Pino adding the extras and at uh, half time, you know, pretty well ahead, but they needed to start well. They start well, they did. Ruan Pino with a three pointer in the 45th minute before the Bulls finally hit back and uh, got their scoreboard ready, ticking with a try by Jan Kovala, a morning try in uh, the 49th minute. But after that, just really poor discipline. And Ruan Pino was just sort of just kind of, you know, ticked them off, really. 68 minutes, 70 minutes um, with a couple of penalties. Uh, 57 minutes as well, I think it was. And then right at the end, they Vardy Borshop going over uh, for a try in the 80th minute and converting it. 39 points, 10 that is the final score. If you look at some of the stats, uh, possession, 50% either way. Uh, territory, uh, the Bulls actually had more territory. And I think, for me, the Cheetahs' defense was so, so, so impressive. Uh, not too many meters run from either side. Uh, 12, 90 defenders beaten by the Bulls, 12 from the Cheetahs. Gain line carries 86, uh, sorry, 38 from the, the, the Bulls and uh, 42 from the Cheetahs. But for me, it's the tackle success rate. The, the Cheetahs making 95 of 114 tackles. The Bulls making uh, 64 of 76 tackles. But that Cheetahs defense was titanic. You know, they just drew a line in the sand and said, we're not going to, we're not going to miss a tackle here. Uh, Ruan Pinot, 9 from 9. What a brilliant performance off the tee from him. Um, line outs, you know, both teams missed two line outs. The, the Cheetahs scrum wasn't always that great. Uh, they were under pressure a couple of times, but uh, the Bulls discipline, I think, is probably what ultimately let them down. Um, seeing a lot of penalties, which allowed the Cheetahs to, to rack up a lot of points quite quickly. Uh, in terms of some standout performance, I think, uh, you know, I think Ruan Pino stands for me as, as the top performer. I thought that Friedel Ulufia uh, played pretty well. Uh, Hine van Merkel was busy in uh, the back line for Cheetahs, for example, Rana Fortain. Had a pretty good game. Tapima Fura, I tell you what, that move to fullback has been brilliant for him. He had so much space uh, to, to run in. Did get his try as well. Beating two defenders, 77 meters ran. Um, for the Bulls, I thought that, you know, Alric Lowe characteristically worked a lot hard, as did, uh, you know, Marcel Katsia, ruined for Mark. But they just didn't seem to have any X factor. They didn't have any sort of try scoring ability. And that, at the end, was the, was the difference, is that they got themselves into good areas, lost a couple of important lineups, which we don't usually see them do. Um, and they just didn't, they just sort of seemed a bit blunt on attack. And I think, you know, they, they are to compete next season. They need to try and make sure they've got sort of maybe more, you know, strings to their bow when it comes to an attacking perspective. And you think of somebody like Wanda Sia Similani coming off the bench with the 10 minutes to go, as soon as you are 20 points down, you've got to be throwing that kind of player on, you know. And, and I like Stephen Hans, for example, but I just think you've got to find someone who's going to create opportunities and. That is that. That is, that is what I want to see. The Similani does. He he creates chances. He you know he he beats defenders. He gets themselves into good positions. Him not playing at all this season, I think you know is, is a bit concerning because you know as I said, the Bulls today lacked creativity. They lacked try scoring ability. He's an X factor type player, and uh, you know not using him, I think, is is a is a is a big mistake. But uh, yeah, can the Cheetahs do it? We'll find out who they'll play shortly. Sharks versus Pumas in the second semi final, and uh, we'll wait and see what happens there. But uh, let me know what you think of the match down in the comments below. What's going wrong with the Bulls? What do they need to do to change it? Let me know in the in the comments below. Smash like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven. And I'll chat to you soon.